So I've been really sick lately and I haven't been able to do some of my favorite things like go spend time with my sheep and make videos and interact with all of you. So I decided I needed to do some things that would be proactive to help myself get better. So that's what this video is about today. I was so sick and it took every ounce of energy that I had but these are the things that I felt were important to help me get rid of the germs that were in my home and um, make a cleaner environment so that I can start the process of healing. I started by washing all of my bedding, sheets, mattress pads, blankets and quilts. Once I got all of those things stripped off of my bed and into the washer, I jumped into the shower and let the hot water run over the top of my head to decongest me. And once I was done showering, I got out and dried my hair. kept thinking to myself, oh, I just want to go lay down. I don't feel good. But I knew if I could just muster through this, that, that this was the best thing to do. Once I was done drying my hair, I also threw all of my towels in the wash with a little cap full of bleach to de disinfect them. I opted to pull out a new toothbrush and get rid of my old germy one. But as I'm about to show you here, if you don't have the option to have a new toothbrush, there are some ways to disinfect your toothbrush. <coughs> Just pull out a bottle of rubbing alcohol and pour a little bit in a bowl and then set your toothbrush in it and swirl it around. Just remember to rinse it really well before using. There's also another really good option for disinfecting a toothbrush. You can take your toothbrush and put it in your dishwasher and turn it on to your disinfecting cycle. Super hot water, throw a half a cup of bleach in your dishwater and you're ready to go. I am really, really blessed to have a little diffuser in my home, so I filled it with some cool water and added a few drops of three different essential oils. I personally use frankincense, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Oh, I take that back. It was lavender. I'm sorry. Lavender, frankincense, and I believe eucalyptus. I know that my voice sounds so horrible and raspy right now, but you guys, I am so excited to be able to do this little video. I've just missed it so much. I hope this is bringing you some inspiration or a few tips that might be helpful or comforting to you if you are suffering with illness of any kind, whether it be a mental or a physical. These are good things to do. It always makes us feel better to be fresh and clean and have a clean environment. I made my bed once all of the bedding was washed and dried. 
and I realized how very grateful, I truly, truly am very grateful that even though I am sick right now, that I have a home, that I have a bed, and I have a washing machine that I can wash my linens and quilts in, and that I have a shower that I can take a shower in and be clean. I'm grateful for the medications and for the herbs and things that are natural as well that bring us all such comfort and healing during times of distress. So, um, once again, I'm reminded that it's the little things that we do and the little things that others do for us when we need the help the most. I am so blessed that I have wonderful neighbors and members of my church that have brought me dinners, that have brought over popsicles and loaves of bread and um, delicious banana squash and delicious homemade chicken noodle soup. So many wonderful things that just made it a little bit easier for me to deal with this sickness and I hope that it's going to be gone soon. I'm so blessed to live in the small town that I live in and to know the people that I do. I'm so grateful for the little things that people do for us in our church. I hope that I too can take those little things and pay it forward to others. I hope that I can be a help to others the way that people have helped me. It was amazing to be able to be done with the projects that I needed to do. I was so tired by this time. So I made myself a nice cup of lavender herbal tea. And then I was able to just go and collapse on my couch. Don't be too hard on yourselves. This took me so many hours to accomplish, just changing a bed and taking a shower. One would think that that's an hour's job best, at best. But for me, because I was so sick, it took me a day and a half to do it all. But I'm so grateful that I have a home that I can be in while I don't feel good and I can heal. I'm so grateful for the herbs and uh, the peaceful lights that I get to sit under that help heal my body. I'm so grateful that we have medical doctors and that we have the world that supplies us with the things that we need. I hope this video finds all of you well. And if you are ill in any way, May God bless you with an abundance of the things that you need and good people around you to heal. Thanks for watching.